Right now, a busy day for Chicago City Council with three huge votes on the horizon. One of them involves benefits for families of some Chicago police officers. CBS 2's Mu Odigwe tracking all of them for us. Today's city council meeting is happening as we speak, and while it might take a while until we get the results, we know these are issues that affect a lot of people in Chicago. Let's start with the speed camera ordinance. It was a close vote, 16 to 15 yesterday, with a finance committee. Today, the full city council will decide on if the threshold for speed cameras will go back to 10 miles over the speed limit or stay at the current six miles over the speed limit. Remember, that's what Mayor Lori Lightfoot changed it to back in March of 2021. She claimed it would reduce traffic accidents and fatalities, but it did not. The CBS2 investigators analyzed the numbers and found they are up. Fatalities citywide in the 12 months before and after the change jumped from 142 to 181. For his part, Alderman Anthony Beale has been trying to change it back to 10 miles over the speed limit. He argues the mayor is using the ordinance to unfairly target west and south communities for revenue. Now the mayor's attempting to change her argument um, because the first argument didn't work. We know what this is. This is a, a huge money grab. And it sounds like now she wants to admit that this is a huge money grab. Um, but all along, it's all it's been about public safety. So which is it? Then there is a heat ordinance, which was introduced after three women died at the James Snyder apartment in Rogers Park last month. Their families say the temperatures inside their apartments had reached 100 degrees at the time of their deaths. The ordinance requires buildings without central air to establish cooling centers when the heat index rises above 80 degrees. It also requires buildings to install temporary cooling systems such as window units by the end of July. And then after that, permanent cooling systems must be in place by May 2024. Finally, there's the ordinance on extending line of duty death benefits to the families of police officers who die by suicide. Right now, those families don't get them. Take Julie Trolia, for example. Her husband, Jeff Trolia, was a CPD officer who died by suicide almost 16 months ago. She has to care for their three young daughters while also figuring out money and insurance, which she lost 90 days after he died. The ordinance would give CPD families like Trolia's a year's salary and access to other funds to pay for specific needs like health care. Even though he didn't die in the line of duty, he gave up his life every single day. Again, these ordinances will be voted on during today's council meeting and we'll keep you updated on the outcomes. Outside City Hall, Lugo Digwe, CBS 2 News.